What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Little Savage, and I'm back on another video. I just thought of this. Like I always said, I always think of good ideas that come to my mind. And I just want to do this so you guys could get to know me more better. I want to just do 10 facts about me. And, you know, it sounds like it'd be interesting. And I, shout out to Duncan and shout out to my crew members. They actually hooked me on to this drink. It's called Strawberry Dragonfly. And it's actually really good. It's basically, it looks like a refresher drink. You know, because we're in the summertime and, you know, it's hot. And I actually really like it. Um, so they actually, basically it tastes like strawberries, like, I don't know how to explain it. Something from Starbucks, basically, it tastes like that. Looks like this, a little like iced tea, it's really good, it's really, I'm trying to get the flavor in my, like, mind. It's not like sweet tea, but it's like, or bitter, it's not sour or too sweet, it's just right. It actually tastes really good, and I, if you guys want a refresher, go to Dunkin', oh, and you guys will try that one, I guess, it's really good. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to do 10 facts about me, and I, like I said, it's going to be interesting, and so I'm going to just speed up the process, um, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and turn your post notifications on, and shout out to my grandma, she actually got me this shirt, it says, God is dope. And, you know, it's kind of big or whatever, but, you know, it still fits. I'm not saying I'm big, but, you know, I'm muscular, and, you know, it could, like, be a shirt to, like, go to bed in, basically. Have God on my chest. So, yeah, shout out to her. Um, so, let's get into the video. Ten facts about me. Ten? Uh, let's, I'll just do ten, nine, eight, or, no, fact one. Um, fact one. I like... Puerto Rican girls, Colombian, and light-skinned girls. That, I like basically Hispanic girls. And yeah, those are my type of females. I'm very picky with them. They have to have like high standards and I have to, I have high standards for a female. Like my mom says, how come I never really want to date? Because I haven't found the right girl, and I haven't found somebody that like fits fit fits the match. But you know, I I have high standards for females. Like you gotta be cute. I'm cute. Like look how cute I am. I'm not saying I'm like the cutest nigga out there, but you know I'm really cute. Um, I look way better out with glasses. I know I got. You know, if you guys want to mix, do hit my line. But yeah, you have to have, be cute. For me, you have to have like a perky, perky like. I'm not going. I'm trying. I'm not trying. I'm trying to make this PG-13. You gotta have a perky butt. Um, your shape on top has to be like well fit. Um, cute smile. I like girls with like curly hair. Or if you guys want, you guys can have straight hair. You know. So those are my type of females. I explained it, that's fact one about me, 10 facts about me. That's the type of female I like. Fact two, um, I, I'm not gonna say I love money cause money is the real of evil, but I love to have like money in my pocket. I don't like being broke. Cause you know, I like to have a fat wallet and have, I like to buy my own things basically. I don't like to depend on anybody like if I get a girlfriend, I'm not going to want her, like, spend her money. But she could spend her money, but I'm going to be the one mostly, like, spending money on her. So, yeah. I like to have a fat wallet. I like to work. I'm a hard worker. I'm not lazy. I'm always, like, going back to mile for somebody. Um, that's fact two, fact three. I love taking naps for some reason. Like I get up, ex not early, I get up at like nine o'clock. I eat breakfast and go back to sleep. All my days off of work. That's fact three. Fact four, I love shoes. You know, every guy loves their shoes or like designer. I, I really, I'm really into like Jordans, like 12s, 13s, 11s, 10s, nine, whatever. I love Jordans. 
Um, that's fact four. Fact five, my favorite colors are red, white, and black. Like this shirt. You know, it matches red and white. You know, I could actually wear these shoes with it. And I could have, me, I could have, um, get some white pants. And you know, there's the outfit for today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy me some white pants and go shopping. I do need to go shopping. Maybe I could do a blog of me like picking out clothes. I think that would be like lit or whatever. Uh, fact six. I love dogs. I know any type of dog breed. I'm studying to be like. I don't know if I want to be a vet or I'm gonna open my an, my own animal rescue because I love dogs and cats, but mostly dogs. I used to like cats when I was younger, but I got into like more dogs and I like know what type of breed is what like I have my dog Marley he's a American staff mixed with boxer and Lola Lola is a French Bulldog mixed with um blue nose the person that I got them from was my friend and his cousin said oh he um the dog is American Bulldog it'll be big so they end up lying to me and then it turns out she's a French Bulldog, and apparently they don't know anything about dogs, so. At first, I was like, oh, she's gonna be small, I'm not gonna like her, but, like I said, I hate, I don't really like small dogs, the only small dogs I'll get, like, are a Beagle, a Basset Hound, or a Doberman Pinscher. Those are the only small dogs I like. I don't really like Chihuahuas. Chihuahuas are, like, the ugliest dog out there or the naked dogs like the one with no hair or like you know there's a chinese dog that's really like naked I, I don't like small dogs i like i'm mostly like a big dog because i'm a guy and i like boxers that's my dream dog i want a boxer um i'm picturing it in my head right now like what kind of boxer i want a boxer i like labradors i like huskies dobermans golden retriever pit bulls i love all types of dogs uh, I feel like I'm more into like the pit bull breed. You got like blue nose, you have gator pits, you got red nose, you got all types of, you got dogos. Like I love big dogs. They're St. Bernard's. I just don't like dogs that drill. Like if you're drilling too much, or you have like a lot of, or fluffy dogs. I hate fluffy dogs. I like dogs with short hair, you know. Um, what else? Back seven. Seven. Um. Maybe I can do, like, TV shows. Seven. Do I have a favorite TV show? Oh, yeah, I do. Um. So, I like DC. I love Flash. Black Lightning. Arrow. Supergirl. Um. I just started watching this TV show called Stargirl. It's on the CW. It's like, what, five, six episodes? I'm not, I'm not really into like female characters. I think females are like, the characters are hot, like Catwoman and all that, but I was like, no, no, I'm not gonna get into it. And then I actually watched the first episode. First episode blew my mind. I was like, damn, this shit is like, you know, awesome. So I love, I started watching it. I recommend it, Stargirl, like six episodes. Like I got into Black Lightning. Um, I got into like one Marvel show. It's called The Gifted. Two seasons, and they cancel after that. I love Walking Dead and Fear of the Walking Dead. Um, yeah, those are my shows. Basically, I like zombies and like superheroes. And I want to show you guys what game I got with superheroes that's were like related. So I don't want to drop the phone, but I have this game, limited edition. It's on um, Injustice Two, and then you got like. Basically, it comes with like the characters that are like you have to buy for, and you have like the Ninja Turtles, Michelangelo, D'Angelo. De um, you get you have the four Ninja Turtles on there. You got Raiden from Mortal Kombat, Hellboy, um, Doomsday, and you have Star Girl on there. Not Star Girl. Um, Starfire, the Adam. You got basically like characters you have to. Um, buy it. and you have all of them and you have costumes and all that you can build up your characters I like that they should make part three of that uh, fact number eight about me um, I love hanging out with friends 
I love friends that act just like me. They you have to have like a great vibe. Something that we have like something in common. I can't have boring friends that don't talk. And then I I just hate people staring at me. It gives me like a bad vibe. If you like keep staring at me, it just gives me like, you know. So I I don't like people like that. I'm sorry about the background. My dog Marley is being bad because you know I'm home. But I I just don't like people that act like you know cringy or talk about people behind their back. Um, I like people that just act like me, like lay back, goofy, chill, that make me laugh. I feel like I'm more like. What's it called? I'm more... I have more in common with my work friends. I love working with my friends at work. They crack me up. Like, this one manager, she's cool. She cracks me up. And my crew members, my uh, homies. I'm sad right now because one of my homies left. He didn't even tell me. I'm like... Not, like, I'm really sad about that. I was just think Like, I'm always thinking... Not always thinking about it, but I'm like, damn. You could have told me you were leaving. And that was like my homie on Sunday, and now he's not gonna be there. And you know, sometimes it's dead, but you know, you just gotta move on. And like crew members come and go, but you know, you grow a bond with them and get attached to them. So, yeah, I'm like really close to some of my crew members at work, and this one manager, really close with them. They make me laugh, smile. My homies from work, my boys from work. You know, they're they're great people. I'm wanting you know, some of them are like boring to me. Like especially on Wednesdays when I work. They be putting me to sleep. So boring. Like I work with people that I don't even talk to. I'm like Can you stop talking to me? You're boring. That's how I feel. But in high school, you know, I met some amazing people too. They're, they had, I vibe, vibe it with them out off the back. So I'm not gonna say we all have our own lives. We talk here and there, but there there's only like one friend that I talk to like almost every day. His name is Angel. Shout out to him. Happy birthday to you, bro. Love you. Um, you're like my brother. Um, his girlfriend is awesome. She's like. Like a girl best friend, whatever. And then he's like my guy best friend. And you know, they're very good people. All laid back. I could vibe with them. They're chill. Um, a little backstory. Um, when I was drunk at their house, they took care of me. They put me in the bed. Put me in a shower. I don't even know what I was doing. I was just like, mm. I know I threw up, you know. And then, you know, they cleaned it up for me. You know, good friends. You know, if you had, like, say if you met, like, somebody off the street and you were drinking with them. And they, if you would have passed out, they would have left you there. Probably rob you. And, you know, th those people are, like, bad people. Don't hang out with them. But, you know, if you have, like, good friends, you know, hang out with them. I'm just checking the time. Like, I'm blind without glasses. Like I said, I look good with, without glasses. I need good contacts so I can look good like this all the time. But yeah, um, those two, um, him and his girlfriend, awesome people. They look out for me when I need it. Like, say, if, if I'm having, like, I, I don't really have money problems, but like, I'm like, hey, can you spot me a 20 or can you loan me 40 bucks? And now I got you guys. And I, I always pay them back, you know, because now I have a job and I could, like, pay them back, you know. Because back then, I didn't really have a job. And then he, like, spotted me, like, he gave me, like, a limit. It spotted me, like, $300, $400. And it was so hard to pay him back. Like, oh, I'll pay you back, blah, blah, blah. And it was so hard. Like, I was not even making that much as a crew member. Like, 200 bucks, And then my 200 bucks will be in his pocket. Because, you know, he loaned me money. But now I have, you know, I um pay him back all the time when he loans me money. That's what friends are for. I was in my struggles. He's in his struggles. And we help each other. So, yeah. That's fact number eight about me. Fact number nine.
Okay, this might sound funny, but fact number nine. I could be the meanest person ever. I could like raise hell. Not literally, but you know, I could have the nicest heart and then I could have a cold heart. Like, I feel like if I have a cold heart, you know, I don't really care sometimes what I what comes out of my mouth. I have a smart mouth and I can do like smart remarks. And you know, I'm like a firecracker, expo. Like I could be waking up in the morning, like sometimes I'm in a good mood. Bad mood. I don't know if it's mood swings or personalities. I could. One minute I'm like cleaning up, next minute I'm snapping. I'm not bipolar or anything. I just like, I hate a dirty house. I snap at my brothers, like clean this shit up. Like if you're in my house in the future and I see something laying out, I'm like, ah, oh, you're not allowed in my house. So yeah, I'm very like moody. I could curse at them. Like when I get super mad, I say stuff on my mouth. Sometimes I mean it, sometimes I don't. You know. That's me. Um, I'm not gonna lie. When my mom gets mad, I I say stuff like, "Oh, your boyfriend's not coming back," or blah blah blah. And then she's like, "That's why you don't have a girlfriend." And blah blah blah. I'm like, "But I could get some if I wanted to. I could get a girl pregnant and and leave the baby and leave her, and you could watch my baby and whatever." She gets me mad sometimes. I just wanna, you know, I don't hit my mom. Or I, I don't like curse at her, curse at her. I just have a, like a smart mouth, and I know I have to stop doing that because in the Bible it says honor your parents or whatever. Uh, my dad doesn't live with us. My mom and dad are no longer together. She moved on. She got her new boyfriend, and yeah. And basically, what you doing? Hang out, my room. <gasps> hang it out. Always bother. Always bothering me. So yeah, I'm very a moody person. Like, I'm. I love to argue too. Um, I used to love arguing with my um, my bro from high school. Like, I always wanted to be right. And you know, I always wanted to be right when we used to argue. Then, like, no, you're wrong. I'm right, and you know, I love to argue. Um, yeah, that's fact number, like, eight and nine. Number ten. Um. Let me, I'm trying to think of the last fact. I'm trying to not make this. Okay, last fact. Um. I love church music. And all, all music, I love music in general. I love singing, rapping, whatever. Like I said, I love all types of music. That's me. Music is one of my specialties. I know my vocals are kind of like, eh, but I'm working on it. Like I always wanted to be in church choir, but I never got the chance, but you know. Um, I try to write my own songs, you know, or like rhymes and stuff, riddle. I like to draw sometimes when I'm bored. Um, yeah, that's all the facts about me. If you, I'm gonna end this video. I'm like trying to shorten my videos, like about 18 minutes, or whatever. And, and it's about 18 minutes. So make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe, and turn your post notifications on. And check out this drink I told you guys. It's a strawberry dragonfly drink. I don't know why they call it dragonflies. Like, hopefully, they don't make this out of dragonflies. And if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe. And turn your post notifications on and I'll see you guys in the next video.